Okay, now we're ready for a little color. Uh, I'm going back to my gouache. So these are Holbein gouache colors. The thing about gouache is it's opaque watercolor at a very thin uh, layer of paint. It's very concentrated color, and that's what we want. If I go back to my board that's dry now, and I close my eyes, and I run my hand over this board, I can feel the same texture um, that the board hat came with. Okay, so I've done basically nothing to diminish the texture and, and the tooth of the board. It's still going to hold on to lots of pastel. So I can add a little bit more color now. Um, and the reason that I'm doing this with paint rather than pastel is that it's going to stick to the board. It's not going to mix with my pastel. Um, and it's not going to diminish the tooth. So I have three primary colors. You have a warm red, I have a ultramarine blue, and a permanent yellow deep. So uh, I pretty much travel with three primaries um, when I'm painting in my studio or when I'm painting outside. It doesn't matter. Um, this is really all I need for this kind of stage where I'm doing a little bit of underpainting color that's going to contrast the top colors, and that's what we'll talk about. So I'll put out in a little triangle here. And what I can do is I can mix a lot of different things with these three primaries. What I'd like to do is I'd like to put just a little bit of color under here that's different from just the burnt sienna that we started with, okay? So what I'm going to do is in the areas where I have lots of greens, I'm going to put in some relatively straight red color. So this will contrast the burnt sienna. It'll be a little bit redder. It's still on the orangey side, but you'll see that it's, it's brighter. And that is going to offer a little bit of excitement when the, uh, the green comes down for the trees. It's going to sort of peek through the greens. Got my paper towel handy to lift some of that. I can darken it with a little bit of that ultra blue if I need to. So why would I put red under trees, under green? Well, they're opposites on the color wheel, and they have a nice color vibration. They add a little bit of excitement to the surface. OK, now what I'd like to do is, in that same line of thinking, um, I've got these barns that probably were red at some time. It's pretty weathered and worn out. But what I'd like to do is I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to put a little bit of green underneath those barns. And just a touch. I'm not going to go crazy with it. But this is going to, it's going to look really strange when you see this, but um, trust me, it's going to be cool when we add a little bit of color onto it. So just a little bit of green in here. And you're thinking in your head, oh my goodness, he's ruining that painting. But you have to have a little bit of faith. And I guess barns could be green. I've never seen one. A little bit in here. So we're thinking opposites on the color wheel. Okay, so we've got complementary colors, and we're using their opposite color as a way to increase vibrancy in the finished painting. So we're kind of looking ahead to uh, what the painting's going to do in its final version. Now I'm using plenty of water. But because of the concentration of the pigment, I still have a lot of color uh, being deposited onto the surface here. OK, now in my shadow areas, I'm going to move a little bit away from all those blacks from the India ink, and I'm just going to put in a little bit of blue, violet, and blue violet. We'll get a little bit more ultra blue here. And it's a, it's a warm red, so none of these violets are going to be really bright, bright violets. They'll be somewhat neutral because there's yellow in that, there's a yellow cast in that red. So it's a softer violet or red violet that we're getting here. In this direction I'll use more blue and I can go to the blue violet. Now I'm doing it in with enough water that some of the burnt sienna peeks through.
shadows in. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the for this gouache. So I'm gonna let the gouache dry, and then um, come back and we will get into the oil pastels.